Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some smartphones with Intel Atom processors, as well as some smartphones with this operating system. Yeah, there was some weird stuff going on in 2015 in the world of smartphones, which is why I've spent the last several months collecting all of the flagship smartphones from that year, and we'll be comparing all of them in this video. So buckle up. It's going to be a... Uh, well, pretty slow ride. Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here at 9 Bay Street inviting you to come out and check out my Discord server. For the month of October, it's been converted to the cesspool. So come on out and show your degenerate side. You can see all sorts of wild things like Hunter Biden's laptop, camper trailers, and even mental breakdowns. Come inside the cesspool today. We're waiting. Coming in at number 10, the undisputed worst 2015 flagship smartphone to use in 2022 is... The Lumia 950XL. This phone has a pretty decent camera, though the microphones are situated on the rear of the camera, which makes vlogging a bit of an issue. Most phones have them on like the side, but this one has it on the front of the phone here. Um, so, you're not going to get much uh, audio from the back side here. So, like, if you're doing a vlog-style video. Other than that, there's pretty much nothing you can do with this phone. The Windows 10 mobile operating system has been unsupported for years now, and there's almost nothing to download from the Windows Store these days. Major service providers no longer support Windows mobile devices, so you can't use your SIM card with this thing. So this thing is pretty much just an average smartphone camera from 2015 these days. This device does support wireless charging. Not too much better, here is number 9. The Asus Zenfone Zoom. This was one of the last camera phones as they were known from the mid-2000s with a big bulky camera protruding from the back. Not minding the fact that this phone only supports Android 6, and app support is terrible because of the weird Intel Atom SoC. Yes, that's right, Intel Atom. The camera on this thing sucks. Alright, so here's some video with the Asus Zenfone Zoom, as you can tell. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can probably tell, can't you? No autofocus. I have to tap the screen to get it to focus. It may or may not be focused on that, I can't really tell, the screen's really dim. Um, and yeah, I have image stabilization turned on, as you can probably tell as well. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> this device does not support wireless charging. And here comes number 8. The OnePlus 2. This is a phone I wish I could rank a lot higher. It has a USB-C port an extremely bright display, and a really responsive fingerprint sensor. However, I'm not able to get Volt working on it, despite this phone receiving an update to support the technology in 2016. Despite the camera not being the greatest, it does not have very good autofocus. And that's because it doesn't have any autofocus. There is no autofocus, um, at least in 4K video mode. It's a pretty cool phone with really solid build quality, but its lack of Volt support and only being upgradable to Android 6 lands it towards the bottom of my list. This device does not support wireless charging. And now here is number 7. The HTC One M9. The little phone that could. This is the only phone on the list that cannot run Mario Kart Tour at full resolution. Besides the phones that don't support it at all. And it gets really hot just doing that. The camera is absolutely horrendous. So there's no image stabilization whatsoever, no options in the menu for it. But it does take pretty decent still images. The smaller size of this phone and its plentiful supply on eBay will make it a desirable option for small phone lovers and bargain hunters. Not to mention this is the first phone on the list that I got to work perfectly with Voice over LTE. This device does not support wireless charging. 
Coming in at number 6. The Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. This is a phone I wish could be a lot better than it is. This is the first smartphone to feature a 4K resolution display, which might sound cool until you realize it causes major overheating issues. I was able to record about one and a half minutes of really impressive 4K video with this phone. There are a few cameras on this list. Um, example would be before it overheated and closed the camera. This also spells doom for playing any games on this phone. Even after one race on uh, Mario Kart with this thing is extremely hot right there. It has a really impressive fingerprint reader, but the overheating issues make this phone pretty difficult to use going forward. This device does not support wireless charging. In the middle of the pack, here is number 5. The Motorola Droid Turbo 2. This is a super cool phone to use. The curved rubber surface on the back makes it really nice to hold. It has this unique lift to wake feature which you can use to unlock the phone. And its camera genuinely rivals the top dog on my list. Yeah, this is the Droid Turbo 2. Um, and it has a shockingly good camera. I really don't have anything to complain about with this phone other than a lack of other features such as fingerprint scanner and USB-C. Uh, it's also a little spotty with regards to Volt though. I personally can get it to work about half the time. All of the following phones on the list work just fine, so I don't think it's on my end. This device does support wireless charging. Coming at you now with number four. The Google Nexus 6P. This phone is just sort of plain. Nothing about this phone really sticks out at you. Video isn't great. Ah, uh, here's the Nexus 6P. It's a real shame about this thing's camera, you know? Uh, this is not a bad phone to use. But when it comes to that camera, um, at least in 4K video mode, um, it does have stabilization and autofocus, but uh, it's so slow you might think it doesn't. Still photos are decent, performance is good, and it doesn't get nearly as hot as most of the Snapdragon 810 phones. The fingerprint sensor works well and is placed sensibly at the back. It has a really nice display and it supports Android 8 unlike any other phone on this list which makes it a good candidate for use further into the future. This device does not support wireless charging. Hold on to your seats ladies and gentlemen here comes number three. The LG V10. This thing is fully loaded. It's the only device on the list which has more than two cameras. It has two front-facing cameras as well as a rear-facing camera. You can record up to 60 seconds with all three uh, cameras on this phone, both of the uh, front-facing cameras and the rear-facing camera. This is also one of the few smartphones in existence which has multiple displays, featuring the unique secondary always-on display which changes functions depending on what app you're running. This phone performs well despite having a Snapdragon 808 and is the only device on the list which features an easily replaceable battery. A huge benefit for it in the future as well as on this list. This device does not support wireless charging. And now, with the not-so-prestigious distinction of second-best 2015 flagship smartphone to use in 2022, here is number two. The Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Whew. The Galaxy entry on this list has a long name and it features Samsung's own Exynos SoC, which benchmarks quite a bit above the Snapdragon 810 featured in most other phones, making it much more favorable for use in the future. It features three power modes. The regular mode runs the display at 1080p. Performance mode boosts the CPU clock and screen resolution to 2K. And low power mode, which reduces background processes and lowers screen brightness. This phone is great for playing games and doesn't get very hot at all. A big difference from the Snapdragon entries. 
The camera is very impressive for video and stills. So yeah, you can see there, it's impressive. Um, what would you expect from a Samsung Galaxy phone after all? I mean, come on. Come on, man. Let's do a little jog over here to the tower. Oh boy, there it is. Very impressive. Um, stabilization on this phone is not the greatest in the world, but it is certainly one of the best on this list. It doesn't, it wouldn't stand up to like a, you know, a current Samsung Galaxy S22 or whatever. Here's the indoor scene here. You can see lens was just wide enough. It just barely cut off a little sliver of the monitor up there, but that doesn't matter. It's in very good, very good focus here. And the fingerprint scanner works really well. You just can't go wrong with this phone. This device does support wireless charging. And now, this is the best 2015 flagship smartphone to use in 2022. Here is number one. The iPhone 6S Plus. This phone is simply legendary. It features the Apple A9 SoC, which outperforms anything else of its time. The exceptional Apple camera. Yep, there you go. I'm filming you, all right. All right. But yeah, you can see there. Very nice quality. This is my indoor, regular, like indoor low lighting picture. And you can see here, obviously, the iPhone is going to do very well here. The quality and, uh, yeah, angle of the lens is nice and wide. And we can see all the details. Nothing is under or overexposed. The lightning fast and always reliable Touch ID enabled home button. And, but most of all, Apple's unbelievable product support. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus are just simply legendary smartphones that many people use even today, seven years after it was released in 2015. Um, even now that Apple has ended support for it, it was supported through seven different major versions of iOS from being released with iOS 9 up to just last month, iOS 15.7 under one month from uh, today, the day that I'm recording this, this phone was still supported. In 2015, this may not have been the most exciting smartphone, but nowadays it's certainly the most usable smartphone out of the flagship 2015 smartphones that you've seen in this video, in my opinion. If you don't agree with me, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, what would you have uh, ranked differently than what I did? And, uh, well, I appreciate you for watching this video, sticking through this whole thing. I'm sure you watched every second of it. And uh, until next time, stay safe out there. This device does not support wireless charging.